Hey guys, MC Collector here with a new video, and this time we have the Mafex number 103 Spider-Man Homecoming version 1.5. Now it's the same figure, basically the same accessories that we've seen previously released, um, which was actually released two times. They had the original and then they reissued. Um, so here we have a new version, the 1.5. The only difference between these two are going to be um, a couple of things. The added head sculpt of the instant kill mode, um, red beady eyes, um, and the lenses, and then an updated Peter Park Peter. Park Parker head sculpt. I believe it's going to be the same head sculpt. It's just not going to look like a fake cheap piece of yellow plastic. So it's actually colored to actually look like um, a skin tone. So well, let's open it up and we'll do this video. It's going to be a quick one. It's really just going to be the comparison between the two, um, the two head sculpts and that added head. And then that's pretty much it. And I guess I'll compare with the Infinity War Iron Spider Peter Parker head sculpt that it came with, but I won't be going over articulation or anything like that. So let's get to it right now. Okay, so here is the figure out of the package along with the original release. And first, before I get started, I'd like to send a big thank you and shout out to George Johnson, Mr. Plastic Addict himself. He pre-ordered this um, and then got me hooked up with it because I never pre-ordered it. I didn't think it would be something that I wanted. Um, and then he hit me up the other day and was like, hey, are you interested in this? And I said, absolutely, I am without hesitation. Um, so I got it today and I am extremely thankful. So I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. So here, looking at the two, so again, this is the version 1.5, this is the original, or this is actually the reissue. I don't have the very first figure that came out. I was always kicking myself in the ass for not having uh, ordered that previously, and thank God they came out with the reissue, and I was very happy with that. When the reissue happened, there was lots of questions on if this head sculpt was gonna be improved, and then they did not, but with version 1.5, finally, they did and gave us something that's much, much better. It's the same sculpt, um, just the paint apps are different, and I actually see Tom Holland in this. Um, still not the, gr the greatest, but um, it's not terrible like this one, in my opinion, is. But anyway, looking at the two figures, so there's not a whole lot of difference. The, the sculpts are the same, but there's um, a big difference between the two, and you guys should be able to see that here on the screen. We have a kind of a dull, flat red versus a nice, brighter red on this new one which is great. The other thing, and I don't know, I, I tried looking up close and I can't tell this or not, but the lines in the legs, um, they're sculpted on, but it looks like these ones are actually have a different shade of blue that's painted in those lines to really get them to stand out. Could just be me, uh, but I think that's how it is. We're gonna try and get closer. No, it doesn't look like we can get in. We're gonna have to get in a little bit closer to see if we can see that difference. But again, that's it. So brighter red on this new one, and then the two new head sculpts, which we'll get into. But first, let's take a look at those lines on the legs. Okay, so trying to get in as close as I can, and it's still very hard to tell um, through on the screen how it looks, but in hand, I can definitely see a brighter blue in the lines versus this one where I don't see any additional blue. It's just, you know, the flat, the same color as the legs. So I want to say that yes, this one does have the painted lines in there. So again, that is another big difference between the two, but otherwise they are the same exact figure. And that is it. So now let's look at the Peter Parker head. Okay, so looking at the two head sculpts up close and you can see the big difference between the two. This one had an extremely pale, um, yellowish looking skin color and you can see the neck is a completely different color as well as where this one, the neck and the head match. Um, it's the same head sculpt, they went with the brown paint for the hair versus black paint um, and then just the skin tone actually looks realistic. Um, and that's the big difference between the two. Again, it's the same sculpt, um, but it's amazing what a little bit of what difference a little bit of paint can do because it actually can look um, much better. Now, it's not the greatest. I think, in my opinion, in this scale, Mezco has done the best with their um, MDX, the homemade suit version. Um, I th in my opinion, that's the best in the scale, and it's not that it's perfect either. Um, but you know that's the best that we can get but yeah not good never liked this one this one is so much better um, looking at the iron spider head sculpt and how it compares you could see that again the he was a little the skin tone on this one at the time I didn't really notice it but seeing these two side by side he was really orange looking on this one and I have it under a bright light so that makes it stand out a little bit more but even in hand it's still very orangey looking it wasn't the greatest Tom Holland head sculpt I see a little resemblance but not a whole lot but it was a huge improvement over the previous one um, but as you can see these two this one I feel is now the Mayfex's best effort at the figure now um, the advanced suit from Far From Home I'm not sure if it comes with a head uh, Tom Holland head sculpt or not I'm sure it will 
Um, so hopefully, I don't know if Mayfex will have any presence at Toy Fair. Hopefully I'll see that, but um, maybe they will. The Night Monkey Stealth Suit was just announced and just displayed at some convention somewhere. I'm not even sure which convention it was. Uh, but that thing looks amazing. It has the, the, the Stark glasses, the Edith, Edith glasses. So that's going to be amazing looking. Hopefully the final product will come out looking how it was on that display. And I can't wait to add that. Um, but these Mayfex figures, they do make some fantastic figures. And I'm very happy to have them. Very happy to add this one to my collection because I think um, this makes it a, a huge improvement. And something that must have if you have the Mayfex Spider-Man. So the last thing included was the additional head sculpt um, with the instant kill mode eyes right here. So let's pop this on so you guys can see how that one looks. Here we go. Okay, and then there, here's the instant kill mode eyes right there. So the lenses are all the way kind of retracted down and then all you see visible is a little red dot um, that he had actually for a brief moment in the Homecoming movie, but then it was really used on the Iron Spider, which of course we don't have one for this one. The swap wouldn't really work because it wouldn't look right, but I believe Mafex is re-releasing the Iron Spider that's going to include the instant kill mode eyes, and then we'll also have the, the power gauntlet or nano gauntlet, the big one. Um, so expect that, and of course these, these damn reissues on these figures, but this one's one that I am actually very happy to have, and this is a nice addition. I won't be displaying it with this. I'll probably still keep both of these figures, but I'll display with this one, you know, with the new Tom Holland head sculpt. Um, so there it is. So that is the comparison mini review. Um, you guys let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of it. Is this something that you're going to be picking up now that you see the improvements made on this uh, versus the previous one? You guys let me know down in the comments below. I'm curious. If you guys like the video, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so somewhere down here. Hit that notification bell. And as always, thank you for watching.